All right, this is uh, four holes. I'm gonna tap them. It's just a uh, 6011 eighth inch aluminum. It's just for demonstration. Uh, tap them to quarter 20 with a spiral tap. Put some lube on there. Okay, and this is a just to show you what a tapping head does. Right, here we go. Now it reverses automatically. Um, that wasn't very precision or anything like that. I just had uh, seen Kevin's video of him tapping on his mill. And I had mentioned my tapping head and I thought I would make a short video for him. But that's my Procuner tapping head. It's a small one. It only goes up to a quarter inch in aluminum, not steel. But uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Alright YouTube, uh, this is a close-up of my Procuner tapping head. Uh, there's the model number, let me get it to focus. Like I said, it only goes up to quarter inch on aluminum, and I think 1024 or 1032 on mild steel. And uh, this just has the th sh like a half inch shank, just so you can... Uh, chuck it into any drill press. Uh, the larger ones, uh, they have like an M2 or M3 shank so that you can be put into a real mill and everything. This is just a small one. And that's where the collets go into. And you tighten that down on the collets. And every tapping size. This is a quarter inch. That's 832 or 8 whatever. Uh, 10, like a 1032, 1024. And that's 6. So, and these are all gun taps. You can tell by the end. Shoot the chip up. And the only one I have of a spiral tap for this is a quarter 20. And that's if you got a <clears throat> full hole through hole. Those are good because it'll spin your chips out and won't break taps but um, the collets are pretty pricey they're like thirty dollars a piece so that's where a lot of the money was to get this thing up and going and that's the tools that come with it But.